Hi guys. As you must have seen from the title, yes, I got an offer from Uber and it's a dream come true. If someone would have told me 2 years ago that I would get an offer from Uber, I would not have believed it because I honestly did not have the faith in myself. I did not believe that I knew enough. But yeah, it does mean a lot to me. So today I'm going to be sharing the entire interview process with you guys, hoping it will help someone. Obviously, because of the NDA, I cannot share what exact questions were asked, but I will tell uh, how many rounds were there, what was the difficulty level of the questions, and how was my experience of the same. So let's get started. So the first round was obviously online coding assessment. Uh, it was on the platform called Code Signal. The recruiter had already told me that you need some minimum number of marks to clear the round and to be able to interview. And uh, I was like, okay, fine. I I had this much in my head that I should at least try to clear as much test cases as possible. Like that is the at least thing. But I got full marks. It was showed at that time itself. I was able to clear all the test cases. There were two questions, medium level, and I was able to do in half of the time that was available. So yeah, I would say for anyone preparing for interviews or doing coding practice, will be able to clear that round fairly easily. After the online coding assessment, two DSA coding interview rounds were scheduled for the same day. Coming to the first DSA round, I did a very typical mistake. I saw the question, I jumped into the solution very soon. I thought that it is based on greedy approach. But very soon when I started discussing with the interviewer, the interviewer was very helpful and very chill also. As soon as I discussed, I realized that okay, the question is not based on greedy, it is a DP question. It was actually a combination of a data structure with DP and not a very straightforward DP question. So you can take some time to come up with the form recursive formula and convert into a DP. But yeah, I was able to do that very soon as soon as I realized, okay, it's not a greedy question. You can see the difficulty level of the question was medium, a bit towards hard. Uh, but I did not do any mistake while coding. All the edge cases were handled. It was handled gracefully. Uh, I got the feedback after the second round. So let's talk about the second round also. I would say the second DSA round was sort of one of the most perfect interview rounds I've ever had. It was a medium level DSA question based on geometry. I was able to come up with multiple approaches. I told the pros and cons of all the approaches, the complexities. I also optimized it further and finally wrote the code. I handled all the edge cases. Uh, I did no mistake in the code, so it went pretty fine. And the interviewer kept cross questioning me. I was able to answer all the questions. I was also asked a follow up question, which was, I would say, a hard question. We did not have enough time for that. To, I think interviewer just wanted me to talk about the approach of the question and I was able to. And I think that was the intention of the interview. So after both of these rounds, I got the feedback from the recruiter. I was rated for the interviews out of four marks. In the first interview, I was rated three out of four, which was expected. And in the second round, I was rated four out of four. So uh, three out of four is also a higher call and four out of four is a strong higher call. So uh, next two rounds were scheduled. Uh, one was hiring manager round and the second one was system design round. But before we get into the next two rounds, let me tell you about the sponsor of the video. Scalar has helped many folks in achieving their dream tech roles. It offers an upskilling program called Scalar Academy for people who are looking to build their careers in SDE roles or want to switch careers from service to product based roles. While the curriculum is structured and focuses on skill building, another thing that I want to highlight is that the instructors are from top product based companies like Google, Amazon, PayPal and many others allowing them to incorporate their practical life learnings into their teaching. Scalar Academy program also offers one-on-one -on -one personalized mentorship to guide you throughout your journey and dedicated placement support to help you interview with product-based companies along with a great community and network of professionals as fellow learners. In a recent audit by KPMG, they confirmed that Scalar has an exceptional placement rate of 93.52% with an average hike of 126% in package and 21.6 LP as average salary. Scalar has also been reviewed very highly by their students who are currently working at many top product based companies. Scalar actually claims to have placed more students into Amazon than combined by all IITs. So if you want to achieve high growth in your career do check out Scalar from links in the comments below. 
Coming to the systems design round, recruiter had already informed me that it would be a one hour round divided into two parts. So first half, uh, the interviewer would understand my previous experience, talk about the architecture of the projects that I have worked in previously. And in the second half, that is the next half an hour of the uh, interview, I would be uh, given a new HLD question and I would have to work on that. Uh, although I did find it a bit odd because I find even one hour to be very less for HLD system design round. So I was a bit uh, uncomfortable about how it would go in half an hour. So I did make some notes that, you know, what all things should I talk about the important points. And uh, so I was trying to focus on that. So the first half went very well and I did explain the architecture of the projects that I have worked on. I have done some different kinds of work. I have also worked on microservices. I have also worked on a startup which I have worked on front end over there. I have also worked on a desktop product in Intuit and I have had opportunities to work on very different tech stack in Intuit like I have uh, worked on C Sharp, WPF.NET. I have also worked a bit on Java and React. So I talked about all of that in detail. Uh, the next half an hour, I was given an HLD question. I tried to ask as much questions as possible, but I was also very aware of the time constraints that I had. So I tried to uh, understand what my interviewer is looking forward to. So I answered the questions accordingly. Feedback for this round was given with the hiring manager round. So let's discuss the hiring manager round first. I had an absolute instant connect with the hiring manager. She seemed really experienced and very cool. She has worked in Microsoft, Google and Amazon and is now working in Uber. So it was very cool talking to her. She understood my experiences of working in all the companies individually. So I talked about all my projects in very detail. Which tech stack did I work on? What parts of the project did I like? What did I find challenging? How am I as a person? And I talked very openly. She also tried to understand my uh, future goals. I told her that I haven't got the opportunity to work so much on the network side and DB side. And I prefer working on backend. Like I love working on backend compared to frontend. I don't enjoy working on frontend so much. Although I'm a full stack developer and yeah, I can work on both. But I want my full time job to be on backend. And I told her my aspirations, how much I want to grow. And she was very understanding. It was a very good communication. The recruiter with whom I was in contact had already asked me to talk about all my concerns in this uh, interview. So I did that. I talked about uh, my working location because my entire team would be placed in Hyderabad and I would be working from Bangalore. Would that be okay? I also talked about that, you know, I am also a YouTuber, so I would need my time on weekends. And, you know, I don't want to sit late at night, but I want to learn this, 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 I am very excited to work in Uber. So there was very open communication. And I really, really liked the entire discussion. It was very chill and it was like talking to a friend. Coming to the feedback of both the interviews. So a recruiter told me that yes, hiring manager also felt the connect that I had felt and she was very happy and keen to hire me. Coming to the systems design uh, feedback. So for the first half, I had gotten three out of four marks which is reasonable because I don't think even I would ever give four out of four to anyone in a system design interview because it's a very subjective topic. I don't think anyone can have perfect answers in a system design interview. No one can say exact same words what interviewer is looking forward to, right? It is always subjective. So yeah, I was okay with that. But coming to the second half, uh, which was like uh, designing a new system, I was given two out of four, uh, which was surprising to me because I honestly felt that the round went well. Uh, the recruiter also informed me that the interviewer was more interested in taking interviews for L5 and I was interviewing for L4. So I'm not sure what exactly happened there, but maybe the interviewer uh, rated me according to L5 position. I'm not sure what happened, but what I came to know that because my hiring manager round went so well and the hiring manager was very keen on hiring me, uh, which is why uh, they decided that I'll have another systems design round because they can't hire me without the approval of the systems design interviewer because he was the BR. So I was like, fine, I don't mind another interview. The recruiter told me that the entire one hour of the interview will be based on a new HLD system design question. So I was like, okay, fine, uh, let's go ahead. So that was scheduled. Let's come to that now. Coming to the second system design round that I had, two very interesting things happened with me. Uh, firstly, right after the introduction, when the interviewer started talking to me, he asked about my previous experiences. Uh, so as soon as the interviewer started asking about my previous project, 
I thought maybe there is some miscommunication and the interviewer thinks that you know the first half is going to be about my previous projects so I corrected the interviewer and I told him that this is my second system design round and the recruiter has informed me that entire one hour would be for a new HLD question uh, so the interviewer went like yeah I know I was just asking in general to know about your projects and then I felt a bit uh, you know that maybe I should not have said it maybe I should have just answered I should have corrected or not I was not sure now another interesting thing that happened that right after this happened the interviewer gave me the HLD question right uh, now the question was of the same domain that was asked in the previous interview let me give you an example so for example if I was asked to design Amazon I'm giving an example that was not the question now if the my if in my last interview I was asked to uh, talk about the search uh, to order in the second interview the interviewer was focusing on ordering process after searching right so it was almost similar question initially I thought maybe I should point it out but I thought interviewer might feel that you know I am again and again pointing out that he is taking the interview in the right direction I did not want to disturb again so I waited that okay let me see what are the APIs that he is looking forward to so I waited for that and I realized that the subdomain is different so maybe it's fine maybe interview already knows so I went ahead with it but I think in the middle of the interview the interviewer did read the feedback of the previous interview and he realized that it was a similar question so in the end he asked me that uh, you were asked the same question why didn't you tell me I told that you know uh, I had already pointed out earlier and it got a bit uncomfortable and I did not want that to happen again so and uh, it was a bit different I also talked about how it was different so he seemed okay with it but he still told me that next time do point it out I would suggest to point it out so I was a bit unsure although the entire discussion went really well I talked about all the correct things in HLD I asked the right questions I gave the right approach I made the diagram I talked about the APIs in detail it was a very good HLD discussion in general the system design now went really well only if this uncomfortable part wouldn't have happened I would have been very sure uh, but I got the feedback from recruiter and he told me that yeah the feedback is very positive and we are really looking forward to hire you so yes I got the offer very soon I would also like to thank the recruiter because the recruiter was extremely helpful and understanding like uh, before the interviews I would get a whatsapp that all the best for the discussion and later I would get a call that how did it go and the feedback also was very detailed that you did this well you did not do this well try to do this better and uh, I was really comfortable with the recruiter also so I would really like to point out that also that the recruiter was very very helpful throughout the process even after I got the offer uh, when I had to talk about the salary part and all uh, there was another uh, person who was handling it but even then the recruiter was very helpful in uh, you know uh, telling me how things worked and how I should go about things so yeah I got the offer I signed the documents I accepted the offer I even received the laptop and I also had a discussion with the hiring manager again to understand which team I will be joining and what part will I be handling. So the woman with whom I had the hiring manager round, I was about to join that org itself and she handles two, three teams. Uh, I had another discussion with her separately because I wanted to understand the work that I will be doing in detail. Uh, she told me about these three teams and she told me I have thought of uh, giving you this particular role. She also told me the reason of why I would be a good fit over there and she told me about the three themes and I realized that yes she has put a lot of thought into it and I would really like to join that particular team also and in this discussion also she was very helpful she was very open so I had decided that I will join Uber and I had signed all the documents as I said I was ready to join but something happened uh, things took a different turn and finally I am not joining Uber I still can't believe that after getting the Uber offer, I am not accepting it. I had accepted it, but I have denied it now. And it was a very hard decision to make. I will share in the coming few videos why I did that. But it was a very hard decision to take. I have personally always thought very high of Uber as a company for software developers. And these are the reasons. Firstly, because it has a very startup culture. Uh, from everyone I have heard and I also personally feel that if I would have joined Uber, I would have gotten to learn a lot. That would have been a definite. And while talking to hiring manager also, because it was such a good connect, 
I was sure that I would get to learn a lot over there. Like there was no doubt about that. Compensation wise also, everyone knows that Uber pays really well. It is of the level of Google. I have actually heard stories where Uber uh, sometimes gives a better compensation than Google. And it is true. I will share in the coming few videos about how my experience also says a similar thing. And also a partial reason is because people like Gaurav Sen and Akshay Saini uh, work or have worked in uh, Uber. I had a discussion with Akshay Saini and I told him that I'm getting such an offer and he was like, just accept it blindly. Don't think about it. Don't have any second thoughts. Join it. And after talking to him, I was sure that, yeah, I am joining. That is when I accepted the offer. But that was before some things happen so yeah i hope i have taken the right decision in long run uh, but i did get to learn a lot from the entire experience i do feel bad that you know uber as a company put so much time and effort in trying to interview me but i guess that's how things work i will share in the future videos why i decided to not join uber so stay tuned for that i hope the interview experience is helpful and let me know in the comments and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It will mean so much to me. Thank you.